was the day Disney Plus dropped. And that means Lady and the Tramp 2019, another Disney live action remake. Let's check it out. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing Disney Plus's exclusive movie, Lady and the Tramp. This is of course another Disney live action remake. And it's a CGI live action reimagining of the 1955 Disney classic Lady and the Tramp about a dog that fall in love. You know, I, I like the original. I grew up watching it. I had a lot of fun with it. And I wasn't really ever looking forward to this movie per se. Heard some good buzz though when the embargo dropped just last week and I see the cast. You got Justin Therox, Tessa Thompson, Sam Elliott, Ashley Jensen, Janelle Monet, Benedict Wong, Clancy Brown. Pretty solid cast all in that part. Then I have my intrigue a little bit popped up. Before I get any further into this review, guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe for all sorts of early movie reviews, like this on a daily basis, talk tons of geeky content, and I'll be doing a bunch of Disney Plus content all today and throughout the rest of the week, so definitely do not miss out on that. Comment down below and let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Lady and the Tramp. Of course, these Disney live action remixes, I've been kind of mixed on. Some of them I really like, some of them I, I, I don't get why they exist, and in general, none of them should exist. This is a total cash grab grab your person but i think the biggest thing that i like to look into this is that kids maybe nowadays aren't the biggest to the 2d animated films and i think these new live action reimaginings are the reason that they are going back and revisiting them because of this and i think it's perfect because right as this ended actually disney plus recommended that i go watch the cartoon and I'm like, that that's actually pretty smart. And I'm sure if I did the same thing with Dumbo or say Lion King, when they come out, it'll probably give me the same option, which is actually pretty smart in that route. But I'm talking about the live action we make here. And while I can definitely say, this is probably one of the better versions of it. And at times, yes, it does feel like a Disney Channel TV movie due to the production and some of the CGI effects. But if I'm putting that aside... I had a pretty big smile on my face. And I'm a dog person. I love dogs. I have two of the best dogs in the whole world. I love spending time with them. And if they weren't asleep while I was making this, they would be in this review just like I do with any dog review that I ever do. But the thing with this per se is when I'm talking about Lady and the Tramp, I went in with, again, that pre notion that I'm tired of these Disney live action remakes. But I came out with a big smile on my face. And it accomplished what it did. It entertained me, it made me laugh, and I had a lot of fun with it. And I think a lot of it goes to, again, maybe I'm just kind of going back to the old days of kind of these movies where you do not have fully CGI animals. They are using actual animals in certain anim animations and just animating the mouth. And actually, for a lot of films, that has come very far within this film. You can definitely tell that as the animals are talking. Maybe it'll bug some people, but I actually, it didn't bother me. And in fact, I actually liked how the animals talked more in here than Lion King. I actually got more emotion from these animals than I did within Lion King, which is just hilarious to me. Musical sequences in here were great. The Siamese Twins Cats was fantastic. One of my favorite musical sequences in here. And while, yes, it is a little bit overly long, there are a couple scenes that they did add that it you could have snipped out gotten rid of and just kept it to the same core elements of the first one but yeah I, I get it you gotta add new things what can i say we'll say i think justin and tessa are fantastic as the voices of lady and tramp the way that their dynamics play out and it's this is how i can tell when an actor is doing a good job of playing the character is when you really forget that it's those actors portraying these characters as the voices you totally it just sinks in perfectly within the tone of the movie of course it does sprinkle in a little bit of a disney magic in there and personally it made me surprised by how much i like this before i give you guys my final thoughts on lady and the tramp make sure to comment down below and let me know what your guys thoughts are do you guys like it do you hate it let's discuss it down below in the comments guys let me know if you guys also picked up disney plus and again make sure to look out for all sorts of disney plus content coming up in the coming days to even today in general make sure to also go head over to sam Sean films on how to see films early and of course a big thank you to you and a big thank you to my patreon supporters because without you i wouldn't be able to do this and the tramp was a surprise for me yeah it sprinkled that disney magic maybe i'm a little bit of a shill for liking it maybe it's just because i love dogs and i enjoyed seeing dog movies and i had a big smile on my face and you no know, dogs died in this so 
is kind of nice in that part. The musical elements are great. The cast is good. This is a solid Disney live action remake. Actually, one of the better ones. And it kind of sucks that they put it on the platform because it would have been cool to see it in the theaters. Add some more money into that. Get rid of my production issues and whatnot. This would have been a good solid one. And in fact, it still is a good solid Disney live action remake. Funny film. It's energetic. And it kept a smile on my face. Dog lovers are going to appreciate the hell out of this movie. You're going to have a big smile on your face watching this one. So with all that said, I'm going to give Lady and the Tramp a B. Let me know what you guys thoughts are on this film. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's discuss it down below in the comments, guys. What are you most excited for to watch on Disney Plus? Let's discuss it down below in the comments, guys. Thank you guys again. And until next time, stay classy.